Good afternoon. I pray that all is well with you and your family. I pray that God is blessing you. I also pray that God's protection, provision, and power is present in your life. As you can today, today's topic is someone to speak up for you, for us, or you, or um, whichever pronoun you want to put in there, us or you. You know, when I was a kid in school, being picked on, I had no one to actually speak up for me. I had to take the punishment and the abuse of the other students about four or five years until I was able to actually speak for myself. And that was a hard time for me. But now I got somebody to speak up for me. And anything that I face in my life, doesn't matter how hard it is, doesn't matter how tough it is, You know, sometimes life can seem so hard and difficult. Life can seem like it's got the best of us, but it doesn't because we got the almighty, most powerful, most awesome God on our side, protecting us, providing for us. And when God sent his son down to this sin curse with a death of our sins, he sacrificed his only son to die for our sins. And that's what today's word is about. It's about Jesus Christ sitting on the right hand of God, being our advocate day and night. Night and day, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber, but he is always interceding for us, even though we don't deserve it. And the scripture comes from Hebrews 1 and 3. He who being the brightness of his glory and the expression Rest image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, upholding all things, not some things. Anything that we face in our life, God can handle it. Upholding all things by the word of his power, which he himself, which he had by himself purged our sins. That means wipe the slate clean sat down on the right hand of the majesty of high right hand of God so therefore when you and I mess up when you and I do wrong things Jesus shows God his nail scars hand nail scarred feet Say, I paid the price for them. You know, for five years, I was an advocate for people with disabilities. When they couldn't get things done for them in, in, in their lives, I made phone calls, did emails, dropped by businesses, and, 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 and most of the time they got things done that they want to get done. But sometimes I couldn't do nothing. Well, I tell you something, God's track record is blameless. He always comes through for us. He's always there for us. He is the one whom we can depend on. The one whom we can put our trust in. 
the one whom we can always know that he'll be there for us no matter what even if we cause a problem think about that if we cause a problem we got ourselves in that trouble God will still step in and bring us out what a great God we serve. And thank you, Jesus, for, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and who is now our advocate in heaven. An advocate is someone who speaks up for somebody who can't speak for themselves. You know, you got advocates for people who are all around the world. But those advocates, they, 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 sometimes they can't do nothing. But good God from Zion, my Savior, my Lord, my big brother, Jesus Christ, he's always came through for me in my, in my life. Sometimes not when I wanted him to, but he was right on time. You know, when I was in high school, I was this skinny little kid who, with a big head who walked with a limp. And for about three or four, three or four, three or four or five years, I went through ridicule. I went through being picked on. I went through being a lot. I went through going through a lot until I was able to do something for myself. Well, God saw that. And God gave me the strength and the power and the fortitude to stop that from half my life. But I tell you something, going through that taught me that some people are in situations that, 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 that seem hopeless for them where they are mentally tired, where they feel like there's no hope. There is hope in Jesus Christ. There's hope in God. The situation may seem hopeless. The situation may seem like you're down for the count, but God will come through for you. As Job lost his livestock, lost his wealth, his children, he had a skin disease, his wife left him, but in the end he was blessed twice over. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Throwing the fire heat up seven times seventy. And came out not smelling like smoke. As Abraham. In his old age, God gave him a son. As Hezekiah, he was about to die, ain't, ain't asked God to add 15 more years to his life, and God did it. Ask David. The list goes on and on and on. And the fact of the matter is, if we look back over our lives, we will see where God has stepped in and changed things for better and changed things in our lives. So, let's remember this true fact. Someone to speak up for us. We have someone to speak up for us. 
we have someone to speak up for us, we can't speak for ourselves. We have someone to talk on our behalf. You know, sometimes the pressure get on me so much that I just moan sometimes. But you know what? My advocate, your advocate, Jesus Christ, interprets our moans and tell God what we want, what we need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I was laying in the hospital bed, couldn't move, couldn't talk, Jesus Christ was in heaven saying, Lord, I know he's not perfect, but spare his life. When I was doing the wrong things in my lifetime, Jesus was looking down from heaven and saying, Lord, spare his life because he just may come around and be used for you. I've been through hell and high water my lifetime. And I can say one thing, God has never, ever, 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 ever left me. I can say that having Jesus Christ in my life has been a benefit to me. I can say that I have God's power. Flowing through my body, mind, spirit, and soul. That's what keeps me going when times get tough. That's what keeps me going. And knowing that I have Jesus Christ in heaven. Speaking up for me. Give me more strength and power to push forward. Because I mess up sometimes. And I beat myself up, but then my mind said, Travis, don't beat yourself up because you got Jesus Christ on your side. So I say to you and me, today, let's not beat ourselves up. Let's not try to harm ourselves. Because we have an advocate in heaven. His name is Jesus Christ. And don't give up on your dreams, hopes, and visions. Keep striving and pushing forward. And know that God is there for you. Know that God will be there for you when nobody else will. Have a great day in the Lord. Now, see you later.